Okay, I'm gonna make my typical Nicaraguan breakfast. This isn't traditional in any way. This is just what I like to eat and I change it up all the time. Sometimes I scramble the eggs, sometimes I poach them. I do different things, but generally speaking, this is what I use. I have my poblano pepper, I have my tomato, I have onions that are already chopped, I have my eggs, I have butter, and I have some tortillas here. These are flour tortillas. I usually start by just chopping the poblano into strips and I do get most of the seeds out of it. Sometimes I'm still really tired when I make this so it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to be cooked. I cut them into strips like that. Sometimes I just cut them right down the middle. Make it easier. Then I'll go ahead and I'll put my poblano pepper and my onion in the pan with a little bit of butter and start searing that and just start letting that cook down. I like to get them nice and soft. Okay, so we've just made it to Ostianol, and there's this little um, Comedor Blanquita, is what it's called. And uh, this is one of my favorite places to eat here. They have fish and everything. This is a fishing village, so I like to come here for fish. And uh, so we're gonna get a bite to eat, and then we're gonna go to the beach. So the really sweet lady here has already shared her snacks with me. It's like a coconut thing. It's really good. It's sweet. I'm gonna try to share this. No, have the rest. I lost my straw. Dang it. Dang it. Oh, this stuff looks amazing. This is chili sauce. Let's see if it tastes good. Let's see here. We need the recipe. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's got a kick. <laughs> Okay, so it's just come to our attention that we are out of gas. Mountains got us. Mm. I was unaware of this before we left town, and the only place to get gas is in town, like 45 minutes away. So uh, I guess we're just gonna go straight back to San Juan del Sur and um, hopefully we make it. Here we go.
you get that when you run out of gas. Yeah. It's comfortable like we're there. It's like a legitimate possibility right now. We made it. We rolled into the gas station on fumes. <laughs> we did. We totally did. We got to Uno in town and uh, put $20 in and now we're going home. So that was not a very eventful day, but you know what? We got fish. <laughs> I think our day has been like pretty fulfilling. The drive down to Ostianol is like really chill until you're out of gas and then it's like really hectic. But what did you think about the fish? It was good. It was red snapper. It's like one of my favorites. Okay. And little fish taste better than big fish. A little red snapper. Yeah, true. All right, so we're headed home. Round two. Fight. What's that mean? Um, Combat. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna try this again. We're not gonna go all the way to Ostianol again, even though that fish was so good. Nope. We're gonna go to the beach just north of there, mm -hmm. and we're gonna try this again. We're gonna work our way up, and we're Very gonna see cool. how many beaches we can actually hit, but no promises. We're gonna do as much as we can do, right? I think it's gonna be fun. It's do gonna be a any, big adventure. Do you have any favorite beaches? Or I know they're not your favorite because you've never been, but like. Do you have any, like, are you excited about any particular beaches? Play Yankee because I don't see if there's any Yankees there. <laughs> it's probably like a surf school posted up or something. Even though the locals love that place more than anybody. <coughs> Anywhere yep. else? That's it. I don't know anything else. All right, so we're looking for La Flor, and I don't really know how to get down there. I've never been down there before, so... Hopefully we don't like pass it and go all the way to Austin and all. We might have to get fish again. <laughs> uh, hopefully there's a sign. But yeah, that that fish plate was like what, 200 cords or something? I don't know. It was like come out to like six dollars a plate. Yeah, I think less than that actually, to be honest, because it's like 36 cord of us to a dollar, and it's 200 cords. So yeah, y'all can do the math. All right, so we made it down here to La Flor, and um, apparently you have to report to Marena Station and pay the entrance fee. It says adults are 100 cords, so that's like $3. No, that's children. It's 200 cord for adults. Where do you see that? Oh, foreign visitors, 200 cords, so that's like 5 bucks or something nowadays. That's fine. Um, so there are some beaches around here that you do pay to get on. I don't go to those beaches like very often, but... They are, they are pretty beaches and there's a reason why. Um, I don't think we're gonna do this beach, but at least we're here and we know what the deal is and we've kind of scoped it out. So if you guys are watching and you wanna come down, this is the Sea Turtle Beach. So this is where I think the Kemp's Ridley turtles come and there's like thousands of them on the beach when they're doing their thing. So I don't think we're gonna stay. I think we're gonna head back north to, um, what's next? I don't know. I've only been here for three or four days. We're exploring. That's uh, Playa del Coco. So mystery. We're gonna go to Playa del Coco now. So let's go. Ready? No, well, let's go. Okay, so we're like basically here. Um, I've been here before, but I've just parked like in here. I think. There's a parking thing. Though. Oh, if there's a parking thing, we'll go over there then. Yeah, I fully think we just pulled down someone's driveway. Well, wasn't there a sign? Yeah, it says private property right there in Spanish. No habla espanol. Apparently not. Park right here, I told you. So we didn't park right. We got, where are we going? To turn around. Oh. So you to turn. All right, turn around, but park like in there so that other people can park also. Because we're not like the only people. Look, this is my world. Everybody else is just living in it.
Okay, we made it, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to buy like a Coke in here or something, cause uh, you know, it's like a restaurant. And I'm thirsty. Are you in the casino? So I don't actually think that they're open, but we're in here. So we're just gonna go to the beach, I guess. I'm thinking we might have to come surf here one day with the longboards. I was straight up saying that yesterday. I know you were. lodges there and that kind of thing um i don't know the answer to that question what do you think i think i saw a sign and we can get down to that's what i think. i know there's like a sign for like one of the eco resorts down there but i don't know if there's actually like a beach access so we're gonna find out hola como estas Estaba curioso que es arriba de esta calle. Sí. Okay, yeah. okay entonces es cinco dólares sí, sí, por un carro. Ah, okay. Entonces, uh, yo creo que un otro día podemos regresar. Pues, ¿Está bien? Sí, sí. Okay. Um, bueno. Gracias. Nike is one of those beaches that like, if you come from the south, it's really easy to miss. Um, the sign kind of faces the north, because most people come in from the north. got a major honor here in Nicaragua. We gave the guy who owns a house at Playa Yankee's daughter a ride <laughs> to town. I feel like you're making it a, like, like a big deal or something. It is a huge deal. It's not a huge deal. <laughs> it's not. No, we just, we left the beach and the girl and her son just asked if they could have a ride. And I was like, is that your house? Because, you know, if you've ever been to Playa Yankee, you know, there's like a house down there with like, you know, horses and pigs and stuff. They've always got chickens running around and it's just the house at Playa Yankee, like they own the land. And uh, she said, it's her dad's house. So I assume that's where she grew up. So I was like, oh, okay, like, cool. Like we've met the people now who lived in the house or whatever, but then it's not got... a big deal. But I was like, oh, it's a little bit of an honor. Like I've met the people from the house at Playa Yankee now, officially I've met them. She said, I kind of feel honored true I did but it's not a big deal <laughs> but it was a pleasure to meet her she's very sweet but we didn't film it I didn't want to be like can we film you for YouTube because I thought that might be weird but I would have no shame yeah he would have